Hey Bill, Matt here from Shaheen Chevrolet. Just going to take you around the 2004 Chevy Silverado 2500 diesel that you've inquired on. I'm inside it right now. Well, let's take a look on the outside. We'll walk here on the car, show you inside and out so you got a good look at it. Okay, here we go. All right, Bill, so here's a look at it 2004 Chevy Silverado 2500 diesel. Now, what I'll do is I'll walk you around the truck outside and in and uh, give you a good look at it, see inside you're down there in Georgia. Obviously, you're not just around the corner. But a good looking truck overall. Pretty darn clean for the, for the year. Um, low, low miles, as you already know. Um, undercarriage in here is good too. I'll show you the underside as best I can anyway from where we're sitting. Um, not sure how well this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna try to get in here, as you can see. The only thing I do notice is that, I mean, it's probably gonna need tires um, down the road here, probably pretty soon. Uh, other than that, Wheels and tires all look real good. I'll back up here. You a good look. The side shot. Come back down in here. With the boards, a little bit of peeling down here from the from the steps on there. Some chipping and looks like some slipping off of, of boots or whatever. Right down through here. Those all look pretty good. Underside down here. The rockers, I don't know if he's going to show up or not. I'm trying to see the screen as I'm showing you. But pretty solid underneath too. There's the driver's side anyway. We'll walk around the back here. A little bit of scuffing along the side here. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. But right through here, a little bit. Rear tire. Tire tread. Inside of this wheel well, it's very, very clean. Being an old four and being here up in Michigan for our winters, not too bad looking. See your hitch hook up back here. Small little mark right up here on the tailgate. There. It does have the pull-in tonneau cover, spray and bed liner in there. Not sure, you'll see in here or not, but fifth wheel hitch as well. At least the plate anyway is in there the rails rather sunlight's directly in front of me so this might shadow out a little bit but i'll still get you some shots of uh anything that i see walking around it again wheel wells very very clean inside this vehicle as you can see in the year wheels look darn good Trying to trip over as I'm backing up or into anything. Right up here to the running boards. A little marks here and there on it. A little bit of peeling there for the passenger side as well. And then on the underside, get down here so you can see underneath. Again, looks pretty dang good underneath of it all. For the underside of this truck. We'll back up here. We'll take a jump on the inside. So you can see the interior. So there's the exterior. Let's look inside here. Here we go for the interior. Power seats, leather. The seats look exceptionally well. Well, the light adjust here so you can see. I'm trying to see the screen as I'm showing you this. But no cuts, holes, rips, tears, burns, anything like that in the seats. Very nominal wear right through here in this bolster. Bose radio, power windows, power locks, your memory seats, your heated seats, your trailer brake, aftermarket right there, fog lights, four wheel drive, your source controls, all your controls on the steering wheel for your trip and your odometer and your volume and your stereo, your tow haul, AM, FM, CD with dual climate control. The air does blow cold. I actually had it running just to make sure. Cup holders. Center console, again, exceptionally clean in here for an 04 with 58,000 miles. Passenger seat here, again, no rips, holes, tears, burns, anything like that in the seats. The armrest is here, it actually does, uh, is actually still in there, it's still functioning. I'll we'll jump around in the back here in the back seats. <clears throat> I was going to fall out of the seat, it'll be okay. Hopefully, I unlock it all. 
There we go. The back seat's back here. Again, just exceptionally clean. Now it's been detailed, but it is very, very clean. Seats here for the passengers, for the rear. Again, no rips, holes, tears, burns. It doesn't even look like the back seat was used that much at all. As you can see, no wear on the bolsters at all for these. And then your climate controls and cup holders back here for your rear passengers. Um, your rear vents and your radio controls right here. And then we'll do one last thing for you. We'll start it up for you. Make sure there's no lights on or anything like that. Because obviously that's a concern. Especially being down in Georgia where you're at. So I want to make sure this is going to start right up for you. Away it goes. I'm not sure you can hear that in the in the background running or not. I'm sure you can hear the beeping. But 53,655 miles on it right now. The only light on is my seatbelt light. Uh, my seatbelt's not on. And then your four-wheel drive. And it's in four-wheel. Make a tight turn here. And I can feel it crawling. And we will straighten out here. Put it into neutral and then and now we're in four low. Oh, the drive will help. And I can still feel that same bite making a hard turn. Be able to tell that it's in four-wheel drive. So everything functions. Um, from what I can tell, drive smooth. I did take it for a drive, it's a short one, but uh, everything felt good and strong. So Pretty darn good vehicle that you're getting. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a great day.